Use artificial intelligence and Optostats to build your new squad for the new season. Analyse the highest zone players and most popular starting squad currently entered into the FPL. Upload your squad at fantasyfootballfix.com now to improve your FPL performance. Click the link below or head over to fantasyfootballfix.com to get started. Bryce asks, uh, it would be interesting to compare Harla and Abraham, which I have already prepared. So, we have it on the screen for you now. Thank you for the question, Bryce. And we have Spash and Harla versus Timu Puki. Now, we've got to remember less minutes for Harla, so less points per game. But potentially he could have uh, had some more returns if he'd played in the second fixture for West Ham. Now what really stands out to me when we look at the shots here. Look at where Pukki's shots are from and look at where Harla's shots are from. So Pukki has shots from these areas. Just outside the six yard box. Decent expected goals on the ones he scored or some of the ones he scored. Uh, 0 0.34, 0.31. But he's also taking shots generally not from inside the six-yard box. Whereas Harla, from inside the six-yard box. Higher expected goals on them. And strictly speaking, I think if we actually go and check expected goals, Harla is only just outperforming what's expected of him. He scored three goals. He's expected to score 2.89. Puki has been expected to score 1.45 and he's scored five. Now, that could just mean he's really good at finishing. But Harla looks the safer bet purely because the chances he's getting are more likely to be converted into chances. Now, what you do get with Puki is also an additional assist threat, which means if you put expected goal involvement into the equation, you're probably looking at Timmy Puki just coming lower than Sebastian Harla. If that was the case, Puki being slightly cheaper, if he did match what's expected of him, might still just be worth it. However, if they were the same price right now, Sebastian Harla for me is the safer option. But the thing is, you're just not getting the attempted assists from Sebastian Harla. And as far as the heat map goes, I don't think there's much difference there. You've got a hot spot for Harla right in the middle of the six yard box, which is a plus. I would say Puki is the kind of striker that roams more than Harla is. Harla's going to stay in the box and potentially be in the right place at the right time to score goals. I think we just saw in the chat as well, we want an Abraham versus Harla comparison. So if we change Puki for Abraham. So we see again, very similar points per game, but less minutes this time for Tammy Abraham. If we look at the shots, again, you're seeing Harla just has more shots with a high expected goals. Now again, ha um, Abraham, if he is as good as he could potentially be, might just keep scoring these kind of chances from this sort of area. But Harla's chances are more likely to result in goals. And I think we'll probably see the same in the expected goals compared to goals. Abraham is outperforming his expected goals. But again, with that 0.81 there added on, Tammy Abraham, what's the price difference? 7.2 to 7.5. I'd say Harla's is probably a better option just because there isn't much in the price. As for the heat map, I'd say the heat map's a lot better for Abraham than it would be for the Puki. But if it was a Puki comparison, I wouldn't say there's too much difference there. I'd, I'd suggest Harla's more involved in the build up play, but will still get into the right areas. Whereas Abraham seems to be a real focal point up front for them, uh, looking to get in behind the lines. Abraham does offer attempted assists as well, but I don't think he's got an assist just yet. Yeah. Yeah. 